Okay, this video is to demonstrate how to perform the field remediation for the Philips Digitrack XT Holter monitors that are exhibiting the error 602 problem uh, that occurs when you insert a battery into the device after the January 1st, 2020 date. So to demonstrate what that looks like, we will put a battery in here and wait for the device to come up. And you can see there's an error 62 displayed, or 602 displayed there. Okay, the fix for that is gonna be shown here. What we're gonna do first, uh, you'll need a AAA battery. You'll need tweezers. Make sure the tweezers are conductive all the way through. You don't want uh, wooden handled tweezers uh, with uh, metal tips. You want uh, totally metal tweezers. This is gonna perform a short circuit um, action later on. Uh, you'll want a Torx bit. This is an IP5, okay, IP5. And then I'm using a little 330 seconds hex driver here. Um, that'll be used to reinsert the rubber uh, um, uh, grommets that are uh, installed on this device. So in my case, um, I have a sticker that's in the way. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this sticker off. Okay, so we'll start by removing the little rubber grommets. I just take one side of the tweezers, stick it down along the edge, and pry up until I can get a grip on it. Pull that out, set it aside, do the same thing for the other four. Okay, and that will expose four screws here, and there are two screws underneath the battery compartment door. We're gonna take those six screws out now. And if they don't actually come out with your driver, don't worry about it. Okay, so what I'll do here, flip this upside down to get these screws out. So there are four of them right there. The other two are behind the door. There we go, six screws. So what that will allow you to do now is very carefully open this compartment now. You have to be careful on the, the, you want to open it from the negative side of the battery and swing it open in this direction because there are ribbon cables down here that you don't want to accidentally rip if you open it from the opposite side. This will expose, uh, this will expose an internal battery right here that keeps, um, voltage on the timekeeping system inside this unit. We're gonna reset the timekeeping system by taking your tweezers, your conductive tweezers, and shorting across the two battery contacts right here. You only need to do that for about a second, and it's done. That's the complete fix. Now, to verify that, we'll put this cover back on temporarily, put the battery in, turn it over and look at the display. It comes up with a normal Philips Digitrack XT uh, display indicating that the problem has been remediated. At this point, I will pull the battery out. We will take the screws, place them back in. Do not over torque these screws. They're just uh, they're plastic screws. I mean, they're screws uh, that are threaded into plastic, so you don't want to over torque these. Just enough to keep things together and to make a seal. Okay, 
Okay, and now we insert the little grommets. They're not really grommets, they're just plugs actually, just little plugs that seal the holes. So what I would recommend, just get them started, push them in so that they're flush with the case. Like that. And then I change out my tip to this 330 seconds and I just push them down as far as they'll go. And there are no seals for the battery compartment screws. Then do a final check. Phillips Digitrack XT, everything looks good. This repair is complete. Make sure that you document uh, your serial number so that you know that that one has been remediated. And that's it for this video. I hope this helps. Thank you.